छोटा है तू कच्चा है तू अंडे से निकला है बच्चा रे तू पूजा शुरू खेल दिखला दे तू पीछे से यार बच्चा बच्चा नहीं रहा क्रिकेट वर्ल्ड का नया सितारा बांग्लादेश खेलेगा इंडिया से 10 जून से स्टार स्पोर्ट्स नेटवर्क पर A series victory over India. They have won the second ODI. Two out of two, two out of the three in the series. A truly memorable occasion here in Mirpur, Dhaka. And it's the first bilateral series win for Bangladesh over India. That has been a magnificent performance by the Bangladesh Tigers. बच्चे क्या बकवास कर रहे थे बड़ों की इज्जत नहीं करना होता क्या तुम्हारा बकवास किया ऐसा ऐसा हाथ पड़ेगा तू तेरे भाई तेरे बहन लोग सब की जबान दात नाक सब गिरेगा सीधा सनी लियोन के फुद्दी में जिधर मैं और मेरा पचास दो अभी के अभी पांच मिनट पहले सारा का सारा माल छोड़ छोड़ चुका है समझ में आया नहीं समझे नहीं समझे लेवल में आके बात करता हूं तेरे से हाउ डू यू फील इंडिया आफ्टर ऑल यूर कॉन्डिसेंडिंग After all your pulling of world cricket, how does it feel? How does it feel after running a muck at the ICC Cricket World Cup 2015? After running our president out just because he's from a less reputed nation for of cricket, how does it feel? How does it feel to be small? To be small? in front of the tigers to be vulnerable and weak and defeatable in front of the tigers how does it feel let me tell you how it should feel you should feel frightened you should feel intimidated and you definitely evident from the reports you definitely feel insecure What is happening, everyone? Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this is Yankee Ten and One from Blue Side, bringing you his thoughts on the second ODI between India and Bangladesh in Bangladesh. Once again, it's not the victory; it's the decisive nature of the victory. The decisive nature. Second ball in. Second ball in. The momentum started to turn and shift in the way of the Royal Bengal Tigers. When your overrated batsman Rohit Sharma, overrated batsman Rohit Sharma, got out. Now do you see? Now do you see why do I keep saying why do I keep saying that the bullshit performances those double centuries ironically most of which came in India don't count because there are may the conditions are tailor made for batsmen to get double centuries now do you see 
Why I keep telling you that they don't count? Or at least not as much as people think they do. <laughs> 200 all out in the 45th over. 200 all out. The mighty Indian side. 200 all out. Even Pakistan's batting was not this dismal. Okay? 200 all out. Your world renowned batting lineup that sent shivers at one point down the spines of many a bowling lineup, many a pace and spin attack, and many a bowling coaches. 200 all out. Chief Destroyer. Chief Destroyer, one Tiger, and he has shown why one Tiger is enough to kill more than 10 out of 20 of you Indian cows. Do you know why I call you cows? Do you know why I just called you cows? Because you pussies showed no fight. You can give the credit to Bangladesh Tigers that Tigers usually don't like when their prey fight back. It just makes things a bit more frustrating. It just makes the inevitable a little delayed. Not like once that you're in the claws of the Tiger. There's an escape. But the less you fight, the easier it is for the Tiger. At least, India, what you could have done was make it somewhat interesting for us. Somewhat interesting. Mustafizu Rahman, the new fine 19 year old Mustafizu Rahman, you had one game where he demolished your ass and had a chance to look at you know, how he rolled and his tactics. No. No. That wasn't enough, was it, for Mustafizu? That wasn't enough, was it, for you Indians? What happened? He did one better. He came back, took six wickets. Six. Not five. Six wickets. Eleven out of twenty wickets. More than half your side. Get out to Mustafa Zerahman. Get out to the new fast bowler. Okay? Star Sports. Where are your jaws now? Indian cricket fans, where is your passion now? Where are your big mouth, big mouth bullshit now? Not just things to do. Where is your fucking bullshit now? Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> Guess you cut off your own balls and, you know, made a lofty out of it and, and you know, made made a badam ki sharbat out of it, to be more specific, and gave it as a treat to Narendra Modi, didn't you? Navjar Singh said to. 200 all out. Microsoft Mango Symphony, Rockstar Sport of Cricket, okay, okay, X R Patel, okay, Why did they drop? Why did they drop a Jinky Rahane? Why did they? Did you ever wonder why did they drop a Jinky, a Jinky Rahane? Why didn't they drop the rock stars for the? Why didn't they drop Jadeja? The look, 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 look. Jadeja was never and is not even half as good as Shakib. Okay, not even as half as good as Shakib. And I'm waiting, y'all. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Where are your crying fans now? That, oh, this was a bad team for India. You know, I don't know how we won the World Cup. This is a terrible team for India. Mahindra Singh Dhoni must retire. And Virat Kohli, all of them need to take a break. They will not get even a chance at a different Ranji Trophy. Huh. 
Didn't they come up from the Ranji Trophy? And look at some of the oh, don't blame IPL. Actually, part of the blame goes to IPL. Part of the blame, they, it goes to IPL. Because they exhaust their players. They leave too much for, too much for the world to see. <laughs> and all this condescending, all this condescending, you know, the lack of credit given to Bangladesh. And now, now, silence, silence. Can you hear the sound? Can you hear the deafness in the jungle? Can you hear it? The deafness arrives. The deafness arrives, okay? All the animals move aside. Once they know which target cow is the prey, the next prey for the tigers. You can't hear it? You can't hear it? Okay? Let me explain in a language that you will understand. Moka, 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 moka. With this win, Bangladesh have ensured, have ensured their place in the ICC Champions Trophy 2017. And deservedly so, because Pakistan does not deserve, look, anyone who says Pakistan deserves to be there is an idiot at the moment. Okay, an idiot or a really passionate Pakistan fan at the moment. Okay, realistically Pakistan does not, does not deserve to be there. Because this ODI outfit of Pakistan is weak. So yeah, congrats to Bangladesh, I'll be waiting to see their rankings. I'll be waiting to see their rankings because last I checked, England won 96, but Bangladesh won 91. England won a game, won the series, Bangladesh won a game, won the series, let's see where they stand. Okay, let's see, let's see what they stand. Bangladesh were number 7. And our, no, unarguably, uh, like, there is no dispute in this. This is the best team Bangladesh has put out in a very long time. No, no. In ever. This is the best team of Bangladesh ever. Mashafi Mortara is the right guy. Because, because later on he said he wants aggression out of his players. He wants this ruthless, ki ruthless killer instinct out of his players. Which is actually to water down and dumbed down by all these stupid ass little policies of excuse me, then pardon me, then thank you very much, and may I, and please I beg your pardons. The, the stupid Disney philosophy of world cricket. I'm not saying it should be all our hardcore, you know, like, you know, gangster talk, no. But there should be some room. No, no. There should be a bit of leeway because it's a competitive sport in the spirit of competition, people say a few things. Come on. Dude, the Australians are more renowned for it. Are most renowned for it. South, Af South Africans used to handle the Zimbabweans all the time. As a player, you have to rise above it and then keep your calm and composure. And you have to make points like this. Like this. Okay, if this wasn't slapping the Indians across their stupid little faces, I don't know what it was. Because, because Sadhu Rahman, he was making fun of your asses. He was making fun of the bowler in this scene. It's another leg side shot. It's only one this time. So, congratulations to Bangladesh. Congratulations to Masha Vimotada. Who actually bowled pretty well. Congratulations to Rubin Hussain, Tafsir Ahmed, who actually bowled pretty well that they kept, they played the containing role and the pressure, the pressure delivered the wicket for, for Mustafa Rahman. The Tigers team, the team of Tigers, 
decided that okay, this young tiger is gonna go out there and eat till it's well, you know till it's full, till you know till it's heart till the the heart's content of the tiger. The the tigers union have chosen this tiger. So the other tigers set up the prey, set up the lamb to be slaughtered and to be hunted and to be devoured. And then the young tiger comes in and leaves nothing of the opposition. That's what happened. We set up, we set it up. Mustafa Rahman also, you know, like, you know, uh, set it up and he got the wickets. Okay, and, and, one more thing. Nasser Hussain's bowling is actually like, you know, it's actually like a uh, decent enough. He plays a decent containing role. And with this, I don't see a place for Tajul Islam. With this, I don't see a place, like even Mahmudullah's place is now uh, a bit in question. Okay, but next match, uh, India, hint, hint. We might play the same team because we're 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 now on a roll to actually to actually destroy the opposition and even chew up their bones, crush them, crush them. Okay, Bangladesh. Or we might bring in Arfa Sunny. Okay, there's. Some photos of Arma Sunny out there. Go have a look. Go have a look, India. It'll help you a lot. It really will. And given this win to the up India the number two side. Oh, no no no. Oh yeah, India number two side, alright, because they're full of shit. Right now they're full of shit. But yeah. South Africa? Like Dwayne The Rock Johnson says, just bring it. <laughs>